Hello Taurus, welcome to your Lenormand reading for October 2021. My name is Julia, thank you for tuning in. This is a reading for your Sun, Moon and Rising signs, so check out your other placements as well. I've already laid out the cards because I've done the reading already for the German channel. If you would like to see me shuffling the cards and laying out the cards, uh, then just click to the, um, you can uh, click onto the link in the info box below because there is the uh, German channel. So you can see that this is actually a live reading. I'm just uh, now going into it again for you to give you the messages as well. So uh, the Lenormand always shows a woman, which is your card, and the man, which is the person you're dealing with. Could be a love interest, an ex-partner, um, could be a partner. We will see what this uh, is about when we go into the reading. So no matter of your gender, you are this lady. So you, Taurus, are this lady and the person you're dealing with is the gentleman over here. So you are in the house of the sun. So you are in the house of success and happiness. That's a great... Um, that's a great uh, position to start the reading with. Uh, so it tells me that in October there will be success and happiness for you. And also there is a positive change. So I feel like there is some sort of change um, that will lead to this success and happiness. We do see the love card next to you and the love is in the house of the uh, of the moon. The moon again stands for emotions, for the psyche uh, and the the, the moon is also on top of you. So since the moon is in the house of the mice, I feel like there's something that is, that is nagging on you and that is um, worrying you and maybe um, you, f you might even feel emotionally st uh, stressed here. Um, but I do feel like there is a positive change coming because we do have the stalk next to those two cards. So, so a positive change in your love life, in your emotional life. And also since the card is in the house of the, um, uh, the heart, it uh, confirms this again as well. Uh, we do see, I do feel like you are very supported and protected by spirit because we do have this, um, the clover and we do have the star card here. So uh, really nice energies that are surrounding you. There are solutions. I feel like whatever is nagging on you, causing stress, there are solutions in the month of uh, October. And also one part of the solution is some decision. And the decision is here in the house of the child. Now the child can talk about an actual child. So maybe an actual child is part of a decision and the solution to something here or the child can stand for something new a new beginning or something that is new in your life uh, related to that again there is a decision which is part of a solution also part of the solution is the other person here as this person is in the house of the key so there's something related to this decision new beginning that is connecting the both of you um it seems like that emotional stability is something that is nagging on you. And this is, uh, so it might be that this is emotional stability. It might be that there is something that is uh, causing a conflict in your psyche, emotions related to stability and work in general. Um, or whatever this is for you, if this is, cl if this is only emotional or if this is related to work, uh, it seems like there's something that is a little bit like a burden to you that is lying heavy on you. Again, I do feel like there is a solution and all the cards surrounding you, we have luck on your side. We have success, clarity, wish fulfillment, a solution um, in your emotional life here. We have the heart, which is always a good positive card as well and the positive change. So the cards around you and the house you're in are all very, very good for October. Um, but of course, there is a challenge as well. So that seems to be the challenge here for you. If I go in your further environment, if I do the nighting, I see that um, there's something related to your house, the place you're living at, um, your flat, uh, your private life, something that is close to you that is causing stress and nervousness. And that might re relate to financial, uh, to a financial situation here. The finances in itself, I have two informations for you. Now, Number one, be a bit mindful uh, with your expenses. Uh, I do see success um, and yeah, I do see success related to the finances, but I also feel like it might be wise and clever to be a bit wise and clever related to some um, some 
how do you say that uh, the things you are buying in the month because we also see a little bit of a challenging uh, element here as well with the cross and the uh, and the, the mountain next to it all right so these are the cards surrounding you let's mirror you there are complications and delays related to some action that you might want to take or some movement and that actually seems to be also part of this challenging aspect here uh, the burden the energy that is lying a little bit like yeah literally like a cross on you um so that's something i can see here as well if i now go to this other person and it seems like we we started with all the cards around you that are very positive and now there are coming a couple of cards into the reading as well that are related to you that are a little bit difficult so i do see that there are challenges as well beside the positive aspects that are very close to you and it almost feels like you're wrapped around um, positive energies to go through the challenges before I come to this other person and the ring energy here, I do want to have a look onto the center energies. And I do feel like whatever is nagging on you and the other person, there will be a communication about a decision. Um, might This whole situation might cause a bit of stress and nervousness. But again, then I do feel this is related to the solution to a new beginning. So yeah, some sort of communication about the issues or worries that you have uh, will eventually lead to a solution. Now, the ring is in the house of the other person, which tells me, and also next to the other person, so it looks like there's a connection, a marriage, or a partnership with this person. The fox is next to the person, so someone who's very clever, uh, intelligent. Uh, since the tail is pointing towards the other person, it seems like this is an honest person, really nice. But I also see that there's complications and delays related to, and that's very interesting as this relates to this situation which refers to you and the um, the rider and the um, ship do have a little bit similar energies because it's both about moving forwards moving taking action or it could be a journey right so a delayed journey uh, or complications in a journey of this uh, partnership here is something that we see and that this person is thinking about as well so um the other thing is that in the house of the partnership is the um, the clouds, which talks about something that is a little bit unclear. It feels like this relates to the complications and delays, um, but also I see that there is this new beginning energy, and it, it's almost like something is about to clear, uh, which is leading to this new be new beginning or new energy here. Um, there is some worry and stress and nervousness related to that situation and the new beginning to this person. There might be the fear of loss or the fear uh, of losing something here uh, in this situation. Um, also, there is the scythe and the scythe can talk about something that has been cut short or also it is harvest time so it could um, refer to some sort of abundance uh, worrying about abundance and the harvest um, that could be one aspect here or the other aspect could be the losing and cutting short something so maybe something is being um, cut short here in this connection like something is being let go of a clean cut that could be something here as well and let me see uh there yeah basically the other energies that i picked up here already are referring to this situation as well so everything i said feels like this is related to your love life and to your relationship which is obviously connected here and this other person so bringing it all together i would say that there are some issues you're working through that might have to do with the public with a specific environment um, which I see here as well and this public or the environment um, is causing some sort of conflict and that might be a little bit like a surprise um, but again I do feel like there is a communication about this which is going to lead to deciding on to something and this is part of a solution in this scenario and I almost feel like this solution 
or this decision, solution, new beginning energy uh, that is being born out of the conflict, out of the worries, uh, is leading to the change, the positive change in your love life and your emotional life. So, uh, yeah, I hope you resonate with it. If so, leave a like, comment or subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.